Last time with Ace, he travels to Leon, Nicaragua to climb a volcano. And in the process, he meets a very educated woman named Luisa. After meeting Ace, Luisa was so kind to offer him a tour of her town. So join us as we reach the conclusion of Ace Climbs the Volcano. It's Poneloya. What is this? Poneloya? It's Poneloya. Check yeah. this out, guys. <laughs> Okay. Estaba caída, entonces me subí a tomar una foto ahí. So this is the beach area. That's right the here. beach, yeah. And uh, you said I can catch a bus. One bus will bring In, you there. Yes, it's yeah. one bus, and it's going to take you like half. Also, to go to 30 minutes to go in there, but if you are going in a motorcycle, so it's going to be like 20 minutes. Let me ask you a question. If let's say somebody wanted to live here, how much is the apartments here? Um, like if it's just like. I don't know. Do they have apartments available in this area, or this is mostly? No, um, it's a lot of. It's a lot of apartment over here because in here is Launan, so come uh, in here, come to live and to study a lot of uh, students. students. Right. Yeah. So it's like one hundred dollars. The the rent payment is one hundred dollar. But if you want to live like around here, that is the downtown. But if one hundred dollars, what a month? Yeah, yeah. And what that get, what that, what do I have? What does that it's, give me? Um, si es en el centro, que es por aquí, eh, like only your room, eh, tu baño, tu entrada y salida independiente. Que es tu, no cocina. No, pero la puedes llevar, te dejan llevarla. Okay. Si, vos la puedes poner, te dejan normal. When you say poner, like I could put a big... Yeah, soap? I mean you can buy one and put in there just for you. Wow, yeah. okay. That's okay. what the is the student usually do, because okay. so you don't have to be buying food. You okay. save money, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But if you are going to live in Sutiaba, Sutiaba is over there. Uh, it's like uh, you have to walk like seven blocks to go in there so ahí es más barato es un poco más barato y te cuesta como like 60 bucks the month by one month and you get the same thing yeah wow yeah and if you maybe if you are like me because i have like my my house with everything mm -hmm. so i have a lot of things mm -hmm. uh, so it's going to be like 150 or 120 dollars by one month and you can rent a house but as a small one but you can have your living room for 20 dollars more yeah yeah in the same but area no 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 in this area no it's like in, in san felipe maybe oh, further, it's further over back. there yeah further but back. no but if if you want to live in here the uh, por aquí, por en centro, yeah. so it's like 400 dollars Six hundred dollars by one house, right. but a big house. My house is big, and if you, if, si la si se rentase, mm, tal vez te darían como su cuatrocientos dólares, like four hundred dollars, because is porque es una casa colonial también. Entonces las coloniales son más altas, son más frescas, y aquí se valora mucho eso por el calor. So, it's a, it's a, like a colonial house that you're living in, and they're more bigger. Yeah. Yeah, they are bigger. Oh, nice, bigger. nice. By example, I'm going to show you the front part in the house. It's big. Let me ask you, like right here, let's say what's the most expensive? I want my own apartment, big apartment. I want big apartment, two bedroom, a little kitchen and a pool. I'm asking too much. <laughs> but Maybe yeah, how much? In, in a residential. Uh, Something here, like I'm in uh -huh. tourist, yeah. It's like... Mm, one thousand four hundred dollars something oh, like that oh, oh, yeah. wow yeah wow. but it has everything i mean fourteen hundred dollars yeah but with everything i mean you don't have to i know even have uh, something to cook nothing, nothing what about like um electricity ah, no you internet. don't have to pay it's already in there it's already included yeah. Yeah. where's that where do you have a place like it's that in El residencial de Fátima, ahí, ahí. Oh. Está, está lejos del es centro. Muy es muy chévere. Sí, pero es muy chévere. Yeah. 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 Ye
pero es muy bonito, es muy bonito. ¿El edificio nuevo o viejo? No, son, serán viejos, pero los mantienen como nuevos. Ok, o sea, so it's like an old building, but they keep it up. Okay. Siempre les están dando mantenimiento, es bien seguro. 1400. Well, we went from 100 here to 1400, like that. I'm thinking you're gonna say $500. Uh, no, no, if you are a student, that's what you usually can pay. So, uh, you can laugh. Buena. Pero, uh, in terms of, um, in terms of $500, what can I get for $500 US? Um, a house, a small house over here, but pretty and a good one. Around my house, maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe um, in front of my house, are uh, living in there a uh, gente italiana and they pay six hundred dollars to buy a house, but it's a big house. It's nice. Big. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, so they nice. got budgets for everything here. Yeah. I mean, you just only need to know where you are going to look for. Where yeah. and what? I've met so many people. I was in Managua. I met so many people who retired. I said it. That's it. I love Nicaragua. I met this one couple. They've been living here for uh, almost as long as you've been born. It's 20 years. They've been living here. Um, they retire here. So you you see a lot of people retire here, right? Yeah, a lot of people. There. I mean, you're asking to me about where they're coming from in here. No, no, but you. You see a lot of retirees, uh, foreigners? Sí, bastante. Porque... Pero para vivir aquí. Sí, 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 hay, hay bastante, bastante, bastante. Es que mira, hay aquí en el centro, eh, en Suteaba, hay bastante. Right. Que muchos estudiantes se van a vivir a Suteaba porque es más económico. Right. Y también hay en. No, madre, si te gracias. Y también hay en, en los repartos. Los repartos no son tan seguros, por eso no, no es recomendable ir ahí. Es muy seguro. En inglés, en inglés, en inglés, porque ella va demasiado rápido. Quizás es porque es demasiado lejos de esta ciudad, así que... Oh, es demasiado lejos. Es demasiado lejos. And you have to take maybe one bus or two to come here. So, so it's, it's, it's tough. It can be. It yeah, can be a little bit tough. It's like a little. Yeah, it's more difficult. I mean, if you walk in here, so you have to be like in a bus like half hours. Right. And it's a lot of time to take every day a bus. Oh. Oh. I, I mean, at least for us. I know in, in other places that's something like normal, but right. in here it's a lot of time. So that's why a lot of people like me, we buy a, a motorcycle. So it's more easy, no gastas tanta gasolina. Okay, like, what, what, like, like everybody here right now, you got all these people working right now. Like, what is the normal work schedule? Because you, you're off, uh, uh, interesting enough. Today, but today's not the weekend. So, are you do you work on Sundays or? Yeah, oh. I work in Sunday, but because I go to work to the farm. At the farm. Yeah. You like because, to work? Because yeah, every day. I mean, today I go to work. It's my free day, but I go because me me había comprometido con alguien para ir a entregarle un dinero. Entonces tenía que ir. Ya había dado mi palabra. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you, you. But usually I don't go out in one day. Yeah, but today, only today. So you went today because you kept your word. You had to do something. Yeah. You keep your word with people and stuff like that. That's good, man. I, we really appreciate you. And I know a lot of Nikas out there probably like yo. That's awesome to meet a wonderful woman who's so like work driven. Guys, guess what? We got the cowboy here. <laughs> he showed up. So um, she was telling me that you are in the farming industry. Yes. Is, so is that really one of the big um, things here in this um, city as far as when it comes to uh, uh, the economy here? This is a... Uh, the tourists and the farm. It's the best economy here in, in Leoni, So what, what type of farming, what's like, what you think is like the, the, the number one out of everything in terms of farming? I think uh, cows for the meat and the, and the milk too. And agriculture too. What happened in 2020? 2020? Yeah. What do you mean? 
when everything shut down. I know Nicaragua didn't close, right? Uh -huh. oh. So how, how did things work out between you guys when it came to no tourism here? Well, do you know that all the, the here residents here in Nicaragua, they are traveling to the United States. So the economy is some stopping. Yeah, a lot of people are leaving to yes. Because of the new policy they have over there, that a lot of people can bring their relatives to the United States now. Is it is harming the economy because people are leaving? Yes. Wow. Well, why are people are leaving? Is there, there's no work here, or or they just want to be in America? They just don't want to be anymore in Nicaragua because maybe if you are a student, so the el gobierno right. is taking the the college. They are going to be a part of the CNU. Yeah. It's like they are going to be a part uh, of the del gobierno ahora. I mean, they are not going to be like a college privado. Ahora right. van a ser del gobierno. So that's um, making the people go out because uh, se molestan porque simple y sencillamente maybe ellos querían pertenecer a un, un colegio a una universidad privada. Y so you, do you think because once the government takes over the college, is it going to be different education or they're not going to teach you? Because right now it's really good. As you said right there, you got like good medical um, education. But maybe uh, a lot of teacher, maybe the, the best one or the oldest one in La Unan, eh, lo empezaron a despedir. Entonces eh, eso ha ocasionado que vaya decayendo la calidad de la educación porque son los catedráticos más antiguos son los que se han, los han corrido o se han ido. I don't understand what she's saying. <laughs> she may speak okay. English. The old teacher. <laughs> The old teacher uh, is to have the more knowledge than the, the younger teachers. Right. So they are uh, declining. Oh, the old teachers are might be leaving or yeah. wow, wow. They are maybe leaving because they are not according with the government, so they go out or maybe recording. Ah, so that that'll take a toll to the the way life is in terms of people education and everything. Right. Okay. You know the experience is more important than the younger teachers right now. Listen, for me as a tourist here, I love Nicaragua. As a tourist coming in and living here, you know. But uh, for uh, everyday normal life as a someone from Nicaragua, it can be tough, right? It's tough, but it's pretty. And you, I mean, if you want to work, so you can find work. I, I mean that you have to look for. It. It's, it's it's hard, but it's yeah, really. it's worth it. But it's possible. It's possible. And work. Mm. I like the way of life here. <laughs> because what happens is people don't realize, and I, was, and I was speaking to my friends, right? So, one of my amigos, su mama ahora vive aquí. Seis meses, aquí, seis meses in Miami. So, the lady we just met in uh, Matagapa, the one I just surprised, guys, make sure you watch my last video. Um, she lives sometimes in Miami, sometimes here, but one of her opinions is like a lot of Nicaraguans are going to go to America and they're going to be hit with a rude awakening. Life in, over there is not as what they see. It might be a little bit more work tedious than they thought in terms of chasing that American dream. We're in Nicaragua, man. Oh man, I thought this was going to be just one video today. Uh, it looks like we got more to film. This city has so much to offer. This country got so much to offer. Guys, we are still at it, <laughs> okay? We are going to a club after drinking and hanging out. <laughs> they showed me where the club at. So, just to see what's that, and then maybe I come out here later on, or whatever, it's for you guys too, so. All right, we are looking to see where the spot, is this the best place to go? Yes. Uh, yep. Mira. Okay. Esta es la zona rosa. It's the best second place to go huh. because the first is the beach. Here yeah. they are. We always here go to the beach. Then in here. Here is the super press. I can go anything I want or him want. 
This is Zona Rosa. Esta es la Zona Rosa. So it, on, a, on a Saturday, Friday, this is packed. Yes. Yep. But right now, ch ch uh, uh, tranquilo. Yes. All right, cool. Right, right here. So this is like off of the park right here, guys. So this is the yeah. church right there. Desde que yo tenía 17, yo no vengo aquí. Since I was like 17 years old, I never come in here. Oh, so it's too young? How, how, how old are the people no, here? No, it's like people for you or for me, but I don't come in oh, here you give, you give because up. I go oh, this to... this is the first bar. Other place. Furniture bar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, so it's like, uh, this is 23 bar. It's, 22. Uh-huh. And it's a good bar to go to. Something like that. <laughs> he got a cool sign. Is it good? I mean, more or less, more or less. Today I used is, to go. What to today is? Today's Wednesday, right? Yes. Or Tuesday. Well, today's Tuesday. Tuesday. Monday. 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 No, today's Martin. Tuesday. Martin. Or uh -huh. is? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tuesday. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí, this is the club we need to go to. You go here to Saturday or on Sunday. It's gonna full, man. It's full. Yeah. yeah it's, full. it's usually full. All right, hold on. This Tranquilo. Where, where I can go to take my lunch. It's more expensive. Yeah. So it's a little decent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we are looking at the nightlife early. So I don't want you to know this place is called 22. Make there is no place. 23 no play bar, and now she's gonna show us a spot that you know where she but, likes to get lunch. <laughs> but there is no, I can put a feet in there. And so, needless to say, I'm gonna try to get this at night. I don't know if I'm gonna be here the weekend, but you got different disco, disco tech clubs. Uh, I met some cool people, and they told me that maybe this might be the spot later on tonight. So we'll come back. Um, but uh, if I don't, you know, I like to record. You got some food vendors right here. You see what I'm saying? And uh, man, these guys have been nothing but nice, uh, giving me some good information. And they, <laughs> all right, food, food, uh, vendors are right here. <laughs> Check it out, right? Well, this is Miami. It's open like uh, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. But, but just Sunday, Saturday, and Sunday. Good energy. Yeah. 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 It's like a disc, like I'm Bluefields. What type of music? All, all the music. Oh, nice. Reggaeton, this. Nice. All right. This is a snake bar. What is there it? A snake bar. Snake bar. Snake bar. Uh, like a one to two a.m. They're gonna drink there. Oh, you you go there one two and get some drinks from there. Yeah. All right, and but you bounce and go to another spot, right? Yeah. They got like Gre Greco Lito's bar, Greguito's bar right here. Okay. Wow, this is like a nice restaurant right here. There is. Aquí es bonito. Aquí sí. Aquí sí puedes venir. A otro lugar no. <laughs> All right. This is the spa bottle. <laughs> okay, this is the spot she likes to get her lunch. And it's actually, I can see why. It's a little bit more uh, like couple. How many times do we hear? Yes. <laughs> she bring you here a lot. <laughs> I can tell she brings it. So, so yeah, check out the bar, guys. It's, it seems like great. people are eating, but if you, you know, you by yourself, you can sit down and have a drink over there. Um, I, I, I get it. I get it. They got a little little mini garden pond in the middle over there. Let's uh, do a quick check. You know what I mean? So. Hello. How are you? Hello. All right. So look. Get a good look at the bar right here. Not bad. And, yeah, yeah. and then this is uh, one of the areas you might be hanging out. It's not a pond. Well, it was water there, but it's empty. And they got like a little private section over there to eat. Not bad. I can see like families come here, birthday parties and stuff. Enjoy their time. And then they, 
aesthetically, I can see why this is one of their places. So what's the name of it? I didn't get her telling me. So the name of this was, what's again? Barbaro. Barbaro? Barbaro. Barbaro. Like a Barbaria. Nice. Spring Spanish. <laughs> Barbaria. <Barbaria. laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay, what, is, what about here? Another, another area? Well, that is hamburgers and hot dog and... El Parque de los Poetas. Así llama. So, oh, okay, you can... Poets. This is the, this is the what? Parque of Poets? Park yep. of Poets. So this is the Park of Poets. You can get some but food here. Eat. Yes. What time it closes here? Um, I don't know, like at 2 a.m. Oh, nice. So you're right by the club, around that corner. You can come here. Solo para la gente que anda bien tomada. For the drunks. Siempre. Oh, okay. If you're drunk, you come out here. Uh -huh. Okay. Venía yes. a comer aquí una hamburguesa, un hot dog, una marchanda, siempre. So yeah, this might be my spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hola, mo. ¿Cómo estás? Just <laughs> okay. All right. Todo esto ahí enfrente son unos cafés super ricos y bonitos. Económico. There is Rubén Darío. Ajá, ahí está Rubén Darío. León de Nicaragua, ok. Mm -hmm. Nice statue. And then right here, this is the coffee. Eh, yeah. Hay farmacia, ahí es la esquina de los raspados, que son súper ricos. Eh, ahí es. En In inglés, por favor. Like. You don't know what you saw, she no speaks English no more. Like ice and milk. And milk. Okay, well, one of the poets. This is the part of oh, poets. Oh, so they have poets. Yes. Yeah. Ah. So their first is Rwandaria. This is the center of the it's poets. It's like the most important one is, is Rwandaria. Salomón Rwanda de la Selva. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. Salomón de la Selva. Aquí Alfonso, Alfonso Cortez. Wow, that's good. Yeah, but the whole this is like part a is like that. Yep. Well, that's man, nice. There's more poets here. No, so let me ask you a question. They, not only they have Park of the Poets and they have so much stuff going out here, but yeah, it, because all of them in one of the that door is people. The, the fact that you, you it looks like you know who this guy is. You don't know who these are, or you didn't say the name good. No, no. It's not like he you know. Knows more than me, always. <laughs> <laughs> you know those guys? Yeah. Uh, Cause the way he says the name is like, yo, that's that guy. I'm like, who? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, this is yeah. nice. What street is this? This is a nice street to walk down. <laughs> this right here. This, 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 uh, this avenue. Yeah, the whole one. It's called, okay, uh, Parque or? You're going no. to the, the center park there? Yeah. To the cathedral. Set. Okay. Yeah, this avenue is dope. Over there is a coffee and there is a shopping center. So this is a good place to get coffee. Yeah, yes. good coffee. What's it called? It's called um, Dulce Mente. Shopping center. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's a shopping center? Yes. No. So, ah. Oh. Yep. There's yeah, that's all it is. Uh -huh. Like you have coffee, shirt. So it's more than one thing here. Yeah, yes. everything. everything. Got you. Uh, coffee. Everything. Okay. They close all you want. So you can walk and you can come to the cathedral to Claro. <laughs> nice, yo. This is this is awesome right here. Yo. This is nice right here. This is really good. This is a good city, man. I, you know, I asked a lot of people about this city, but they, a lot of people didn't really understand the city, but now I'm getting a good idea of like how this city is. Most definitely worth it. I can see why people might come here for vacation. It's very yep. safe here. It's safe, it's pretty, it's not expensive, so you can enjoy it. How's the beach on Sundays? Um, It's like full. It's not oh. expensive. It's full, man. It's you Saturday can eat. <laughs> it's full. Wow. Like man, we usually gonna, go in there. They dance for dancing people in, in there in cathedral. Right. Mm -hmm. They're gonna do poesy. They're gonna dance. Yep. 
It's wow. very, very. And this is I during. Mean, you can come in here to see posse and dancing, and then you can go to Poniloya. So it's pretty pretty. Nice, nice, nice. And here you can take. Um, I don't know if you want to eat some apple or some papaya, mango, bananas. So come So there, you man. can come in here. And it's very expensive. Okay, we're walking towards another area right here. What's this? Uh, here, here we are going to go to La, La Merced. That's a park and that's another church in here. But what about what about these? These you got these. Um, este es el Paseo del Cun. El Paseo del Cun. What does that mean? The Pass of the Cun. Mm -hmm. Who's Cun? The Cun is the the university that uh, the folks the all the universities. So it's something about universities here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. So they all compañero Cornelio Silva, yeah. Evin Castro. All of this that, is they contribute to to the revolution to the FSLN or the yeah. Sandinismo. So oh, okay, uh, these are like important figure political figureheads also contribute to education or no? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. of course. So let me ask you, uh, what's the biggest university here? Eh, Una Una Leon. Leon. Una oh. Leon. La Unan Leon. Okay, and Leon people go to that school for what? This is anybody in the United States and um, the country in the, comes in? In Nicaragua of Leon, they, they go to Una Leon. Where is Anyone that? Where is that in, a college? In okay, they're gonna go. I oh, is that where? Tomorrow, okay. even. Oh, to get a better because idea. This is around the city. Is La Unan or Unan Leon is the most important in here because he's the one most important to learn uh, medicina. Like Me oh, that's what yeah. you were telling me. Because ah. my mother started in there and I started in there and him is started in there. Nice. There people that die for the, for the, the right to the students. The revolution. Wow, okay, so let's check out these guys. Jose Ruby, Mauricio Martinez, Sergio Sardana, Eric Ramirez. Okay, interesting. So these guys actually uh, um, basically uh, fought to be part of the education here? Yes. All right, so. They're gonna die for that. Wow. That's interesting. And then, and look guys, check out right here, these pictures right here. These are like old pictures. And I, I really appreciate it that they, they go ahead and show you. Like these are, look at these, look at these guys running around and you see doing the- always old pictures and from here and from all there about who were all the day. Wow. These guys was like really putting their work in the city, trying to go in, so people who makes our change in all whole ones education always mm -hmm. is not like hippies they're not hippies no, no, no. they makes a change in all whole education so these guys were just um protesters yeah yes, yes. yeah yeah, yeah well, unless she was trying and to mention corner, say in that corner is the center the whole center in leon and managua of the cnu okay yeah keep on they me. make a whole center okay and in that so day, what was the what was the problem let me ask it's i mean it's, the F, it's well, always it about the fsln picture before the uh, to, um, there was like a dictator at that time? Si, yes. siempre fue Somoza. Siempre uh, fue Somoza. Always was Somoza. Mm -hmm. And then was FSL. Mm -hmm. Like a political yes. group? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In 1896 was Somoza. And now in 2023 is FSLN. This right here. Uh, yeah. And this is these, this is what this group represented at the, at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Okay. Ahí ahí me llevaba él para conquistarme. Ahora ya no me lleva ahí, como todo el hombre. All right. Esto es el FSLN. Pero sí luchaban por la alfabetización. English people, please. <laughs> So basically, um, this is a group that um, at the moment made the most sense. Uh, fighting for um, the rights. And these are the streets? It's happening here? 
Ahora sí. For this street. This actual sí, street. Son de esta cuadra. Wow. Esta este es una galería hecha para los turistas. Wow, this is beautiful. Es que luchaban por esto. Es que luchaban por esto. All right, they fight for this. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is a moral. All right. The day they they represent the represent the the word they have in that time. Let me let me get the moral it's mural. A Wow, you can actually see uh, some of the energy that's happening. This guy's playing basketball, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 they don't want this work, though. From <laughs> yeah, I don't want this work. <laughs> I play. I don't. You know, it's been a year since I played ball. But um, just to give you an idea of uh, the energy, I let you understand. Oh, some of this stuff is. It, it the green one represents the Somoza team and the rest of the civils that ride for the, our rights. Uh, the, the other people without the uniform are the ones fighting. Alright guys, so some of this stuff is uh, graphic and in nature, so you already know how that go. Some of this stuff I can't show you guys, I wish, but you already know how that go. Alright. It's really, really graphic in terms of some of these guys not even making it. You know what I mean? So, what the hell is that? What they got a party over there? Okay, that's the party. Ah! Now, no, Bobby. Hey, what a party! Yo! I get it now. Hello. <laughs> what what was that? It's uh, es el mirador, es un bar, es un bar restaurante. And see it's, the view. It's the thing that's popping right now, right? Yes. Oh. You can see the view of the, <laughs> the many of the Leon. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's go. <laughs> Where you going? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. One drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. right, man, we've been going in on the drinks, guys. I'm going to show you. <laughs> I think I'm you can tell. tell. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This is the stairs if you fall. This is the English. Take care of the stairs. When you get drunk, you can follow it. Oh. oh. Be careful. No, that's for us. No, no, no. And there oh, is no. camera from here. If you can follow it, uh -huh. they're gonna grab you and pull like a face. Oh, oh, you fall. So a lot of people fall from these stairs. Yes. Yes. So, uh, so you can look online and see people. So all the women are careful walking up. Es que caminamos tacones chiquitos. Okay. I go uh, after ya. <laughs> Man, so so far good energy here, guys. Nightlife. I'm sorry I'm using my GoPro. Nobody was on Sony, but it works. It works. And uh, these are guys playing ball on the air. They want no work. All right. <laughs> What's going on guys? It's the next day and I'm in front of uh, this volcano, it's called Zero Negro and I'm attempting to slide down it like a snowboard. All right, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, this is not what we do, the blah, blah, blah. Listen, if you have anything negative to say, please, I actually keep that to yourself. This channel is about pushing people to their limits and doing things that people think we can't do. Either way, 
I'm gonna take my big butt, yeah, I said my big butt, up this mountain, all right? Now, needless to say, guys, I'm gonna be huffing and puffing, so let's just get that out of the way, all right? But this is to push me, uh, you know, as far as my phys adding physical fitness while creating content, all right? So, let's do it, all right? I'm a, when I say huffing and puffing, hey, hey guys, okay, we're here. If that's too much for you, all right? This is probably not the video to watch. I know that certain people just have to mention that, and I'm like, yo, I'm going over to here, pushing myself to the limit. All right, enough with it. All right, let's do it. I'm going with this tour company right here. Come and say, I'm going to say tour company here. Oenic Tours and Travels. Oh, Oenic Tours and it's right here, guys. And that's all. And um, that's Oe de Oe, como saludamos los nicaragüenses. That's de Nicaragua, Oenic. Oh, Oye, meaning like how they salute uh, everybody here, and then Nick, meaning um, short for Nicaragua, all right? You can find them on Instagram, okay? And then, so let's do it. Okay. Donde, donde? Ya lo hay, está uh, grafando. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yo, okay. you're right here, baby. Let's do it, Bangy. We're gonna walk up there and slide down. It could, it could take 10 minutes. <laughs> the 20 seconds to come down this thing depending on how fast you go I'm gonna see if I can catch a cool experience and then we're gonna be doing some other stuff today but that's how we started the video today man so hit that like button I greatly appreciate it all right man I am lucky right now because the Sun is out but there is a huge cloud blocking us so uh, I don't mind starting like this it's really good guys <sighs> This is what travel is about, man. Um, and I also want to highlight this whole experience, right? We're going to be snowboarding down. Apparently, uh, a European came here, a French man. He just wanted to ride down the the volcano, I guess, to break some record. But uh, he ended up breaking himself. <laughs> so he went back home to recuperate. And then I guess he came back. When he came back, he came up with the idea of snowboarding down which uh, actually helped create this whole um, tourism system here. And so, yeah, that's what's going on. And I'm already <laughs> getting my legs to work out right now. Here we go. All right. But that's crazy how, you know, tour, you know, people could come up with great ideas to help fund the economy, the local economy here. Cause I came here for this and I found that there's so much more here. Anyways, let me concentrate on walking up this, this hill. Let's get up here. to approach this right here it's gonna be more of a steeper ride up so we got to be super careful and this is gonna be the, the harder part of getting up here All right, let's do it I don't know if you can hear me because it's windy, but I got these rocks behind me. But the wind it was pushing people, even pushing her, you know what I mean? She almost fell over the corner. <laughs> and uh, so what I can recommend though is shorts, wear shorts if you come in here. Um, obviously depending on the weather, but yeah, mostly shorts and hiking boots. Um, these are running boot shoes and they are not doing well. I keep slipping, walking up. So 
it's making me use more energy as well along with the pain so they've been patient and uh, shout out to her they killing it i ain't gonna lie they killing it <laughs> they kill it man. they killing it so all right they, so they lucky they got me though so i they can take extra break you know? <laughs> all right guys so <laughs> team team work all right yo So I was handicapping myself on purpose, you know what I mean? But I was, you know, uh, answering emails, everything from the back, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's what was going on here. And look, they got bees here. Yeah? Amy! Uh huh. Ellos se alimentan de los minerales que hay en las rocas. Ah, so over here we we'll see a lot of insects because they like to take advantage of all the minerals that's on the rocks. You do see some um, bees over there. This place is uh, meant to, to attack you. Okay, not only are you supposed to <laughs> like jump off of it, you're supposed to get stung by some bees while doing it. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're not actually done. We're not sliding down just yet. We're gonna go look at this vantage point. There's a huge crater over there and we can see a lot more volcanoes. And then we're gonna do this uh, epic ride down. Esta uh, es una chicharra. Chicharra, ellas normalmente solo están en verano. Ellas. What? Do not have nada, huh? <laughs> She's not afraid of nothing. No. Culebre? No? No? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you can see more um, bugs here actually yeah, so moving around. left so I'm leaving too. <laughs> Maybe trying to check me out. Say what's over your head, bro. Alright. Oh my gosh. All worth it now. Check it out. Beautiful views. It might be windy but wow. I wonder is that where the lava is coming out of?
can see with the lava, this the last time this erupted was in 1999, and uh, it was more more dust and rock, uh, less than hot lava. But these just say the rock and everything was hot, and so from my from what I'm hearing, this is uh, the aftermath right here. Sorry if you can't hear me really clear, but yeah, this is the aftermath of everything. Man, just to touch that that hot rock was amazing, man. So, yeah, it, it, I, uh, something on my list. Touching hot rock from the lava, that's nice. Yeah. Mayor Rotating my stylus Brokenness feeling like sin Not no Creflo dollar Used to be left on red Now all the girls go holler Now all the girls go follow All the fake friends gon' pile up I need peace to borrow Get that shit right back tomorrow Somehow all the fans go bravo Smile so much to hide my sorrow Stay the shaky in Verado. I can't hold the frown too long I can't stay down too long I can't stay down too long I felt like Superman <laughs> trying to stop a plane. <laughs> Woo! I felt like Superman stop trying to stop a plane, baby. <laughs> and I forgot I was supposed to put the the handkerchief on <laughs> oh well we did it guys I feel very proud and accomplished that i did it i think i went pretty fast too rapido you free rapido uh, ah okay <laughs> okay he said I, I did a little little some some you did some 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 <laughs> about 25 k's an hour boy all right yeah that's what <laughs> okay Thanks for watching this video. If this is your first video, try to watch all the other episodes and catch up so you don't miss what's happening next. I guarantee you, it's going to be crazy. Yo.